This edition of Mac Voices is sponsored by PDF Pen and PDF Pen Pro by Smile, the essential PDF utility. Download free demos and find out more at smilesoftware.com. Mac Voices is in Las Vegas for NAB. I'm Chuck Joyner. In wandering the halls, I ran across Yev Pustin of Backblaze, and I figured it's time we find out what's new with Backblaze. Yev, it's good to see you. It's good to see you, Chuck. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hey, it's, it's always a pleasure. I'm delighted to find you here. So what's new with Backblaze this year? So we've added a bunch more integration partners uh, from last year. Uh, we have uh, ProLogic, Contimo. We have a bunch of new integrators that we're working with. So regardless of what your workflow is like, you can pick a vendor that's perfect for you, and they can use this as a back end. And so that's really what we're focusing on here at M NAB, is the M&E space and seeing how we can help different providers uh, and different parts of people's workflow by storing all the data that they have. Now that's really interesting to me because I tend to think of you as a little, no, well, I, I use you more as a consumer level company. Yeah. And so, but you're trying, to, you are moving into a whole different space. Yeah, that's right. So, you know, for the first 10 years of our life, well, uh, eight years of our life, we were a online backup company. But throughout that whole time, people were asking us, like, why don't you open up your back end a with APIs and let us, like, send data to you? And eventually we relented and we started Backblaze B2. Uh, so it's, it's kind of our third product line if you think of our consumer backup, business backup, and then now we have B2 cloud storage. And so uh, that's been really growing gangbusters for us and it's been going great. So it, let me make sure I understand this. So is this primarily a backup solution just of a different flavor or is this live data storage that you're using and can go both ways? Yeah, it's live data storage. So it's an object storage uh, solution. So you can send us data, we'll hold it at rest. If you want to send somebody a link, they can access that data. Uh, it's just like what you would expect from someone like an Amazon S3 or a Microsoft Azure, but at a quarter of the cost. Okay, but you are not a, a, a CDM. That's correct. We're not a CDN, but we are partnered with Cloudflare. So, you know, if you're using one of the big, like, three providers, they kind of have a lot of these services for you, but they kind of keep you in this walled garden. Whereas we're part of, like, a bandwidth alliance or a rebel alliance, if you will. And so we're partnering with CDNs that allow free egress between the two of us. So if you're storing data with us, but you want to use Cloudflare to distribute that data, the movement of your data between us and Cloudflare is free. So you're paying us to store the data, you're playing Cloudflare to distribute your data, but moving the data between the two services is free. So you can still use a lot of the same use cases that you would with some of the bigger providers, but a lot less expensively if you go with the Rebel Alliance. Hey, I was just going to say because um, Amazon, if I understand their model correctly, you would get charged to move it to something like Cloudflare and then pay Cloudflare again to distribute it. Yeah, well, and Amazon even has its own CDN-like solutions. So you can pay them, but again, they're going to charge you kind of for every step of the way. So what kind of pricing are we talking about for something like that? And I, I'm sure we're talking into the terabytes very quickly, if yeah. not more. So, so Cloudflare's pricing varies kind of by usage. Ours is $5 a terabyte. So we're known as being inexpensive for online backup and providing an unlimited service. Can't really provide an unlimited service with cloud storage, but we do charge it very fairly at half a penny per gigabyte. So if you scale that up, it's about $5 a terabyte for the, back, or for the storage, and uh, it scales with you. So we have customers that are just storing a couple gigs. We have customers that are storing well over multiple petabytes. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's nuts. Yeah, because I'm thinking, you know, if I connected all my Drobos and everything at the same time, it would probably take till next year this time to get it all uploaded, but then it stays there. It, it does stay there, and we actually have something for that. Uh, we, we have a service called the Fireball. So for B2 cloud storage, you can actually seed your storage to us. Uh, we'll send you uh, a Synology box, and you can fill it up with all of your data, send it back to us, and we'll seed the cloud storage. It's it's gotten to this point now. Yes. It's not we'll send you a hard drive. It's like we'll send you a Synology. Well, you know, it will send you. You can send us a hard drive, but for most people that want this, they have way more data than can fit on just one. So, you know, we'll send you a Synology, or you know, if you're more comfortable with other services, we can talk about that too. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's great. And and so I, what I think I heard was that it really doesn't matter which one of these flavors of backup. The pricing is pretty much the same for the storage. Uh, yeah, so however you want to get the data to us, and you can do it yourself. We have like CLIs, command line interface tools, so if you want to code up your own backup scheme, you can do that. 
Um, but for us, on the back end, it'll be half a penny per gigabyte to store it and one penny per gigabyte to get it down. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. Well, I know Backblaze, is, Backblaze excuse me, is my uh, backup uh, method of choice um, on my online, my cloud backup, and it just works flawlessly. I mean, I, I really, the interface is solid, um, and it just works. Yeah, and you're very proud of that. Like, ease of use and uh, accessibility was something that was very, very important to us when we first started that product. And we kind of, the same uh, schema applied when we were building out B2 Cloud Storage. We wanted it to be an object storage system that everyone could use. So we made it very, very simple. The APIs are very easy to use if you want to code to it. That's why we have so many integrators and M&E partners, is because it's very easy to write to it and make sure that it, all of your data gets stored with us. And we're not going to charge you an arm and a leg. We appreciate that. I need my arms and my legs. We, uh, so, so does everyone else. <laughs> Um, the website where folks can go to learn all about all of this. Yeah, if you go to backblaze.com, uh, you can see all of our products there. But if you go to backblaze.com slash B2, that's where you'll find all the information about B2 Cloud Storage. Yeah, it's good to see you. Thank you so much for the time. Absolutely, Chuck. Thank you so much. Next year right here? Uh, we might be like, you know, a couple, couple steps down in either direction. But yeah, right. we'll be here. All right, good. Thanks. <laughs> folks, more from NAB in Las Vegas. I'm Chuck Joyner. Thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Facebook group or like our Facebook page and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard and on the web. And if you find value in it all, consider supporting us through either our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash macvoices or by making a one-time donation via the PayPal link on our front page and in the show notes of each episode you will join these fine people who help bring you Mac Voices. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.